As the United States has become the country with the most cases of coronavirus in the world, it has also laid bare the flaws in our healthcare system that have left us ill-prepared to fight a global pandemic. With millions of Americans now unemployed, the healthcare system being pushed to its limit, and tens of thousands of deaths in the United States alone, people have begun to warm to ideas that were once seen as unthinkable. Specifically, Americans have begun to think twice about universal health care. A study reported on March 13th found that 41% of Americans are more likely to support universal health care in the wake of the coronavirus. This comes as countries with strong public health care systems like Germany, South Korea, and even Canada have handled the virus much better than the United States. Through their public health care systems, these countries have been able to better coordinate their responses to the coronavirus. Germany, thanks to a strong public health care system, along with comprehensive testing and social distancing measures, has had one of the lowest death rates. Korea, through a similarly effective response, never even went on lockdown and flattened the curve. The United States' response to COVID-19, on the other hand, has been incoherent at best, as private hospitals have neither the resources nor the obligation to work with the government. What's more, many Americans are dependent on their jobs for health care. So they have no health care whatsoever if their job leaves them off due to the virus. This further hinders the response as it makes Americans reluctant to go to the hospital in fear of the cost. While the Trump administration has since passed legislation making testing free, treatment is still not. This has arguably long been a problem with America's health care system, especially in times of economic downturns, though the coronavirus has exacerbated it. Further, the lack of a unified health care system to manage the response has led to states competing for resources. Opponents of universal health care may point out that Italy has failed to contain the virus, despite having universal health care. Though as the nation recently reported, Italy's health care system has actually struggled because its health care has been becoming more like America's. Decades of privatization and spending cuts, combined with cuts to social security and education, have left Italians more vulnerable to a pandemic than ever before. To be fair, the age demographics of Italy, along with the population density and a pretty shaky government response to the virus at first, didn't help. All in all, it's pretty crazy to think that it's taken a global pandemic to show the American public the importance of universal health care.